the stats are in and they're alarming. This video is about the stats and if you're interested in learning how you can be part of the solution, go to gritgym.com SS and show the world your example by being the success that you want in your life. When you take care of you, you're better at all the things that make you great and you're of better service to everybody that you care about. But right now, the United States in every single category is over 40% obese. This isn't a situation where uh, they're just a little overweight. 40% in every single category, the most alarming one being the, uh, the increase, uh, the, the, the projections that are on kids. The number of kids that are, are dealing with obesity is just astronomically rising. Astronomical is the wrong word, but it's rising at an alarming rate. That's the A word I was going for. Uh, and the highest group is 35 to 45 year olds that are at above 48% obesity, okay? 9.4% of the United States right now, okay, there's 327 million people in the United States, 9.4% of the United States is diabetic. Of those diabetics, you might say, oh, but you know, how many of them are type one? Well, we have stats on that. Uh, five, only 5% of all known diabetic cases in the United States right now are type one diabetes where they were born with it. Type two diabetes is 95% of all diagnosed cases of diabetes in the United States right now are type two diabetes. This is where they earned it. This is a very different thing. But uh, one in six Americans right now is on some kind of psychiatric medication, whether that's antidepressant or anti-anxiety medication. Okay, these are, these are kind of crazy numbers. Like um, if, 40, if over 40% in every single category is obese, 95% nine, of all diagnosed cases are type two, we earned it. And one in six people in the United States is on some kind of antidepressant or some kind of anti-anxiety medication. We have to start looking at things a little bit different, I think. And uh, like you can be the solution to that because most of these issues would get solved by a, a walk around the block, a positive reading uh, or a book of a po uh, reading, a positive book, um, having a, like developing different, having the courage to develop connections with your community. Um, you know, like so many of these things would just get solved by exercise, mindset, nutrition, and recovery. Okay, so this this is, this is not a small thing, okay? 9.4% of the United States is almost 10% of the United States. If 327 million people in the United States have this problem, that's 32 million people that are diabetic right now. Okay? That, that, that shouldn't be like, oh, uh, well, you know, it's just the world we live in. It's the grain's fault. It's like you can't keep blaming uh, the, the, the nutritional protocols that have been put out. You have to put this on yourself as best you can. And this is an earned thing. 95% of all diabetic cases are type two diabetics. That means you earned the diabetes, okay? And it's not not reversible like you've been told. It is reversible. You just have to work a little bit harder at it and the actions that you've taken up to now have gotten you the diabetes so it's a little bit harder to overcome. Same thing with obesity. Obesity can be solved. It is not a lifelong issue. You can stand up to this thing. You can grow and you can develop your exercise. You can develop your nutritional lifestyle. You can develop a different mindset and you can develop recovery patterns that can actually get you to where you wanna go but you have to take you have to take that responsibility upon yourself to do those things. You are not fat, fat is on your body. Those are two very different things, okay? Fat is not something to have an emotional connection to or an identity with, okay? Adipose tissue is on my body. I am not fat. I have fingernails, but I, I, I am not fingernails. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not part of your identity. You can do something about it. All, are, I would guess that somewhere well above 90% of all of our kind of ailments right now would get solved by exercise, nutrition, mindset, and recovery. But you have to start, you gotta get around people, you have to have proximity to power. Other people who are positive, who are courageously pushing out in their life, and who are exercising and building life, uh, new lifestyles every day. Um, and on top of that, when you get off of the drugs, like antidepressants and anti-anxieties, uh, medications should be so that you don't kill yourself, not so that you have this lifelong thing that you stick to. It's, uh, it's you use them for a short term like a crutch, and then you get off of them or you atrophy the leg. See what I mean? You break your ankle, you get on a crutch for a little while, but if you continue to use that crutch, your leg will atrophy and you will not be able to use that leg. Same thing with antidepressants. Cool, thanks for the heads up. All right, you, like, if we can take this responsibility, the thing is, if you get off the medications, you don't have IBS, you don't have all the other uh, significant things that go along with it, like IBS, erectile dysfunction, uh, wanting to kill yourself even though you're on an antidepressant, and all the other things that go along with this thing, you get to have power. You get to have power within that. So if these stats are, uh, are, are current, man, exercise, mindset, nutrition, and recovery will solve all of them. But you have to click the link below and go to gritgym.com SS and get signed up for a strategy session there so that you can be the example and take the courageous responsibility for your life so you can do something about it and you can be part of the example that changes everything and the ripple effect is powerful. Gritgym.com SS. Go get signed up there.